the things that shape us. Today, we explore the fascinating history behind Black Women's Church Hat Cultural Tradition, an expert written by Nicole Kidder. A deeply rooted tradition in the African-American community, wearing flamboyant hats to church has both spiritual and cultural significance. The centuries-old custom continues to flourish throughout the Southern U.S. and in Black Northern communities. These dress hats, which are beautifully fabricated and extravagantly decorated, have evolved into an art form and an important cultural symbol. Catching God's Eye Prior to the 20th century, most American Christian women commonly followed Corinthians 111 and covered their heads in worship. For early African Americans, God's house was not only a sanctuary of hope and salvation in a brutal world, but it was also one of the few places where they were allowed to hold important positions of leadership. Sunday was thus a day of worship and celebration. African American women traded in their drape, aprons, and knotted head wraps for brightly colored dresses and straw hats, gaily decorated with fresh flowers, ribbons, and feathers. These heaven-reaching hats were designed to quote-unquote catch God's eye in hopes he would hear their prayers. The African American Crown Elaborately adorned headdresses hold enormous significance in African rituals. American slaves continued the custom of weaving geometric designs, attaching feathers, and adding beaded jewelry to straw and fiber hats before attending church. In addition to instilling pride and confidence, the hats remind the wearers to carry themselves like queens. Culturally, church hats became a strong symbol of the ability to triumph over hardships. Worn with the head held high, African American women strut with attitude while supporting these crowns. A symbol of success. As African Americans gained greater freedoms, the crown evolved into an important status symbol. During the Harlem Renaissance in the 1920s, the Roy middle class celebrated their economic successes by purchasing flashy hats and wearing them everywhere, from the office to the speakeasy. Black women appeared in church flaunting colorful, wide-brimmed hats lined in silk, sparkling with rhinestones and trimmed with flower garlands, sassy feathers, and delicate lace. Noted African American milliners, who included Grace Bustle Douglas, Mildred Blunt and Mae Reeves achieved fame for their designs as early as the 1800s. Fluctuating popularity. Young girls who dreamed of wearing beautiful hats like their mothers and grandmothers rebelliously rejected the crown as a symbol of oppression in the black bourgeoisie in the 1960s. Still ridiculed, elders kept the tradition alive. In the 1990s, these young women vigorously re-embraced the custom as they became the church elders. Had a kit. In Crowns, a book that showcases the self-expressions of Black women of all ages embracing their crowns, writer and photographer Craig Marbury and Michael Cunningham discovered that numerous unwritten rules for wearing church hats have developed in the African American community. This hat etiquette includes not wearing anything that is wider than the shoulders or darker than the color of the shoes, and never borrowing or touching someone else's hat, although treasure pieces are often passed on to daughters and granddaughters. While the hat should be the focal point, it must not compete with the matching outfit, jewelry, or accessories, such as pocketbooks and gloves. Now keep in mind, these rules can always be broken in the name of fashion. Wearing church hats continues to be a unique form of cultural expression in the black church. While all women do not participate in wearing church hats, its history and evolution within the black church can be appreciated by all. Now when you enter a church and see a beautiful queen with her church hat, remember this history and take pride in knowing that this is just one of the things that shapes us. Do you participate in the tradition of wearing church hats? 